Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. We're, uh, I'm glad to be back. I hope you're glad to, to that I am, but I've been, been gone for a little bit, uh, uh, trying, to, uh, uh, trying to survive. And uh, so we uh, want to uh, say thanks to everybody that has helped uh, us in the last, at least the last six weeks, the last year and a half has really been, been uh, rough, but the last six weeks has, uh, has been the worst. And uh, so I appreciate everyone that came to fill in for me, and uh, they all did a good job. And so I might, I might just start staying home now to get them to come back to work. You think that'd, that'd be okay? But I do want to uh, express my appreciation for uh, some things here tonight, and that is uh, for all of your prayers and support uh, during Don's illness and death. And uh, at a time like this, you really appreciate family and friends more than at any other time because they just need, mean more to you. And, and uh, <clears throat> so, and all of the all the cards and letters and so forth and the flowers and gifts and everything that you've shown your concern and your uh, uh, sympathy with us, we really appreciate it. And uh, we uh, might uh, tell you that we're going to do a um, uh, musical memorial uh, for in Don's honor the, on April the 4th. If you want to mark that down, so you, this will be uh, uh, where, where he's, uh, it's just a memorial of Don's ministry of music. And uh, so we, uh, we appreciate your prayers. And of course, we'll, we'll talk more later about everything, but, but tonight we uh, just wanted to say thanks and that appreciate everyone that's helped keep the program going and so forth while, while I've been away. And um, so uh, we uh, have, have one scripture we want to share and then the singers are going to sing. And um, Isaiah 41, 10, it says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. And, it, you know, we learn to depend on the Lord in times of sickness and death like never, never before. We, we, we really uh, know who He is and uh, that He is with us. And so tonight, I know there's a lot of people that uh, at every... Uh, we. We hear all the time of folk that have lost loved ones, and and uh, 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 Fred White, uh, one of our good friends, he lost his wife and son recently, and a real short distance of apart. And uh, but he still watches the program at night, and so uh, and for all of the all the others that have, you know what what grief is, you know what, how it feels, you know what you're going, we all are going through. So we, we learn to depend on the Lord. And uh, so uh, tonight as, as we pray, let's just uh, remember that we're still here. Our work is not done. We've got, uh, we've got uh, souls to witness to. We've got people to, uh, 
pray for, and so let's be faithful to do our part. So let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for, for your love, your mercy, and your goodness that's in the hearts of your people. And so tonight, Lord, we do ask for you to continue to help all of us. You know where we are and what the needs are. And so we thank you that you have already promised for us not to be dismayed or upset or discouraged because you're with us and we thank you for that. And so we uh, we just know you're going to continue and we ask you to bless the singers right now and all that are listening, Lord, just bless them, especially comfort their hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, tonight we have with us to sing. Uh, it's Highway to Heaven and... Uh, I think we have some new new members with them, and uh, and then of course uh, uh, there and the group is from the Howard's Mill First Church of God, I believe. So Highway to Heaven, their phone number six zero six four eight one four five four seven. Is that right? I'm always glad, uh, proud of myself when I give the right number because sometimes I've been known to do otherwise. All right, let's welcome Highway to Heaven. Thank you, Margaret. We are so humble and, and thank the Lord that you all have asked us to come. Um, Albert and I are just blessed to have this group with us. Um, of course, everybody knows my husband, Albert, and April Smith. And uh, these are um, James Keaton is a preacher. He's an evangelist preacher. And this is his wife, Charlotte. And we brought our pastor, David Campbell, and his wife, Connie, and uh, David's sister, Joyce, with us. And uh, we appreciate everyone, and we hope that whatever we have picked out here, that it gives someone a blessing, because we certainly get blessed by these songs and the words in them. Just listen to the words of I've Been Set Free. When 
that a wonderful feeling yes. to know that the Lord, he can set you free if all you do is trust him. And you have to trust the Lord with all your heart. He will set you free from sin. You all need help tonight. There's a lot of people upstairs that's waiting on those phones just to help you get through, help you learn, teach you how to accept the Lord as your Savior. Listen to the words as April does, the Lord is my life. song, I want to send out to everybody that um, goes to Howard's Mill, uh, First Church of God there with us. I'm so thankful for that group of people. They have brought us a long ways. I'm so thankful. You know, I don't say much about nothing anytime, but I am so thankful for this group of people that we go to church with. Um, Nobody knows when the Spirit is working with your heart and He wants you to do things and you just keep this whole carnal body. You know, we, we keep fighting and hanging on and finally the Lord wins and he, he has sent us a place to where we can go to church three days a week and sometimes four and five. And I'm so thankful. Uh, I'm so thankful. And, and uh, James Keaton here and his wife, um, they go to church there with us. All, all five, six of us goes together, and uh, it's, it's a blessing. Just listen to the words. My Lord keeps a record. Yes. <clears throat> what a wonderful, beautiful picture I have of a place without sorrow or fear. And I'm going.
don't look on the face of my Savior so dear in the city where cometh no day that will be. <laughs> Listen as April does. These are they. I think April has a dedication for this song. These are they. Okay. Yeah, I'd like, this one's about uh, being a worker for the Lord and, and you know, there's just so many and I'm thankful for each and every one of them, but I wanted to send this one out special to uh, Lisa Coffey, Carol Snowden, and Pam Walker tonight. If you all don't have a church to attend, I'd like to invite you to come to Hard's Mill. If you ever come, you won't never leave. <laughs> I know that. You won't never leave. You might hear uh, David or you might hear uh, Brother James. Uh, but you'll hear a good message and you'll be blessed by it. Um, and just listen to the words. I'm not sure what they're going to sing, but... It'll be good. You'll be blessed by it. I'm not sure where that ended up at. I'll just go ahead. You know, I've got.
got many reasons in this world to, uh, to want to make heaven my home. Uh, my old body's breaking down. The Bible says, you know, we're going to have a glorified body. This old cancers and everything, you know, all these, all these things that we face in our life, we're not, not going to have anymore. Amen. And that's going to be gone. And that's something I've got to look forward to because I'm a child of God. Yes. I've got family that's gone before me. My dear old mother, I just can't help but think how pleased she would be because she watched WLJC all of her life. And just to see me here and witnessing to God, what a, I just can't even imagine the blessing she would have got out of that. But I waited too late, but I'm going to see her again. Yes. The Bible tells us he's going to prepare a place for us. And he says, if I go and prepare a place, he said, I'll come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am there you may be also. And I just can't wait for that day when my mother and my Lord and Savior says, Welcome home. There's a day just out in front of us I know will surely come When that eastern sky will open wide Revealing God's dear Son And I know from here That heaven is but the twinkling of an eye And in the midst of all His glory We'll hear the sweetest cry Welcome home I hear sisters and everywhere you look a friend oh the greeting will be precious from the ones we love so dear no mortal man has ever seen or heard what we'll hear welcome home I knew Welcome home, you're here for good, and look around, was it worth the wait? Welcome home, step through the gate, look around, was it worth the wait? This song I'd like to send out to um, Quillen Chapel Church, to Vaughn's Mill, Church of God there, and to Spruce. Listen to the words of On My Father's Side.
At least the disciple does. Jesus called. <coughs> if he's called your name out there and you need help getting to the Lord, reaching the Lord, you know, sometimes we all need help. We, that's why we have pastors that they, they come and support us, thank the Lord. But, you know, um, this station is here. It's been here for a lot of years. We've, we've been up here with three or four different groups, and, and this station has always been right here. When we're home doing the things that we need to do, this station is here. You can call here 24-7. Somebody will answer the phone. Somebody will help you, um, lead you to the Lord if you need them to. Listen to the words of Jesus called. And I do want to dedicate this to Ross Rehab in Mount Sterling. Um, they specialize in helping people that struggling with addiction. And if you know somebody struggling, there's so much help out there. And, uh, you know, just take that step to reach out and get the help that can save you. You don't have to do it by yourself. <laughs> about 
making the Lord the Lord of your life. Now is the day. Um, all you have to do is, is pray that simple prayer of repentance and accept Jesus into your heart, or you can call the number on the screen and somebody will be on the other end of the line to walk you through that. And uh, it would just be a wonderful decision to make today. There's a record. <laughs> Listen to the word. There is a record. to the words of Rise and Follow Me. And I'd like to dedicate this to my mom and dad, John and Betty Williams. Rise and follow me. I'll make you worthy. Rise and follow me. I'll make you fishers of men. Rise and follow me, I'll make you worthy. Rise and follow me, I'll make you fishers of men. Peter, John, and James could never be the same. After they heard him say, I'll make you fishers of men, he said, Rise and follow me, I'll make you worthy. Rise and follow me, I'll make you fishers of men. Rise and follow me, I'll make you worthy. Rise and follow me, I'll make you fishers of men. 
Cast your nets aside and join the battle tide. He will be your guide to make you fishers of men, he said. Rise and follow me, I'll make you worthy. Rise and follow me, I'll make you fishers of men. Rise and follow me, I'll make you worthy. Rise and follow me, I'll make you fishers of men. Jesus bore the cross together in the lost. Oh, what a mighty cost to set us free from sin, he said. Rise and follow me, I'll make you worthy. Rise and follow me, I'll make you fishers of men. Rise and follow me, I'll make you worthy. Rise and follow me, I'll make you fishers of men. You notice that it says, rise and follow me, and then he'll make us worthy. Sometimes I think we try to make ourselves worthy, but we just have to come to Jesus wherever we're at. We come to him, and he makes us worthy by getting to know him better through his word and through prayer and Bible study. And, you know, we can't do it by ourselves. We need that uh, power of the Holy Spirit living on the inside of us. So wherever you're at tonight... Even if you feel like you're not worthy, Jesus wants you, and he wants to meet you where you're at, so don't hesitate. It's okay. You can come to him just like you are, and, and over time, he will change you. So we don't have to feel like we've got to be good enough, you know, because it's his righteousness that we put on. We're going to let James and Charlotte sing another one. <clears throat> this is uh, April was saying earlier. If you're out and listening, uh, part of this ministry, whether it be <clears throat> preaching ministry or a song ministry, a music ministry, the thing is we, we want to get the word out that you are never alone. Yeah. No matter where you are. And you think no one's listening, and you think no one's around. There's always someone there, someone there ready, reaching down a hand for you. Yes. And all you have to do is take it. Yeah. So just hold on a little longer. A woman in the Bible days, her last meal was gone. God. Woman, don't you worry, for God sent me today. And before you even asked me, help was on the way. So just hold on a little longer, help is on the way. A brighter day is coming. life come by and burdens get you down you think no one is listening you think no one's around just remember what his word said trust him and obey and keep your eyes towards the heavens cause they'll be Just hold on a little longer, help is on the way. A brighter day is coming for those who believe and pray. Help won't help tomorrow if you give up today. Just hold on a little longer, cause help is on the 
Just hold on a little longer Cause help is on the way Thank you, James. Amen. Amen. Listen to the words of just any day now. <coughs> Thank you, Highway to Heaven, uh, from the Howard's Mill First Church of God, <clears throat> and uh, appreciate all their songs. So uh, we have uh, uh, a number of requests in, so we're going to see how many of these that we can uh, take care of, and they're all important because if you're talking, if you are hurting and you need some prayer about something, then uh, then you uh, uh, you want to be prayed for. Okay, uh, Okay. let's see if we get, get these lined out here. Nellie Wooten, she has called and needs prayer. L uh, Lily has a six-year-old grandson having surgery on Wednesday. Uh, from Marty from Montgomery County, healing and salvation for her family. Shirley from Montgomery County is glad to see me back, and she has COPD. Uh, Betty from Fayette County, uh, glad to see me. I'm, I'm glad to be able to be back tonight. And also, as Gladys from Jackson County has said the same, she has eye problems. And Marilyn from Corbin, she is sending in a contribution of $100 to the ministry in memory of Don. Thank you. Martha from Clay County. Uh, Okay, um, she's um, she wanted a song request, and uh, they've already uh, they did the one that she wanted on my father's side, and uh, all these folk are uh, saying they're glad to see me back. I don't know, 
I, I must not have been gone long enough to have it. Uh, Jerry McClure, one of my dear, dear friends, she's so she's glad to see me. She loves and appreciates me. Well, I do her. She is one lady to be admired. Norma from Wolf County enjoying the singing time is blessing her. Joyce from Letcher County there's, uh, has called and said they're sending little Michael Barnes on to a UK hospital right now. And uh, that boy is like 46 years old and has never walked a step and he's been so sick. He's praying every day to get to go home. You, there's some things you don't understand. Marcella from, thank you, Sam. Uh, uh, Marcella uh, needs a touch from God. She's a diabetic. Peggy from Fayette County, uh, pray for her uh, sisters and special friend. Frances from Lincoln County, $60 in memory of her father, Silas Wells. And also, she's glad I'm back. Uh, Tammy and uh, Ethel from Floyd County, Gerald needs healing. Uh, kidney appointment for Michael uh, from Laurel County. And we have Joyce from Johnson County. She's glad to see me. I didn't know I had so many friends. I better I better make a mark of this, though. So. Uh, all right. Uh, Katrina Parker from uh, Harlan. The Seegers are doing a good job. Pray for her two sons. And she's also glad to see me. Judy from Laurel County for Roy. Uh, Jean from... Uh, Adair County for her grandchildren and Anna from Pike County loved the group she's 86 years of age and uh, uh, she wants oh she said well listen this is nice she said she wanted me to know that somebody loved me in Pike County well thank you uh, I sure need it well there's one they forgot to write on. Uh, let's see, uh, from Pulaski County, also glad, Barb has said she's glad to see me. Phyllis, Thelma from Madison County for all of her family. Donna, uh, her family is going through bereavement. She's passed away. Clifford from Lee County for Shade uh, Campbell and uh, Tony from Powell County um, is, needs healing. Judy from Pulaski, flu symptoms. Hattie from Montgomery County for Earl. Phyllis from Laurel County. Um, uh, Matthew uh, from Knox said, glad to see me and uh, to pray for all of his family and wanted to hear the song, Strolling Over Heaven. All right, Silas uh, Sailor from McGoffin County. He's in a nursing home and he calls us and he always is praying for his family. Francis from Lincoln County, Jasmine from Estill County, oh, wanted a song and uh, she lost she lost her grandmother. Uh, Ernie from, uh, for himself from Bell County, Jeremy from Fayette County for a friend's son. Uh, uh, they lost him um, from McGolfin County, a family uh, song request. And uh, Carl from Clark County. Oh, uh, Brenda from Morgan, and uh, this is from uh, Morgan uh, from Corbin for a family group, and also from uh, another one from Laurel County, Jasmine County. There's a song request and uh, pray for the salvation. Uh, of her family and appreciates the ministry. Patricia from Knott County, a daughter from Pike County. And um, okay, uh, for her family, Mary uh, from Johnson County. Mary has called for Roy and Delma and uh, is also giving $100 in memory of Don. Okay, we have a pastor and his wife up here is going to pray for us. You want to introduce yourself right quick? Looks like we're about out of time. Okay, so, well, uh, we're, we're David and Connie Campbell from Hired's Mill, First Church of God. Would you get that for us? And uh, it's our pleasure to be here and thank God for the highway to heaven. They have uh, done an awesome job. Sister Margaret, I've got to read this. Uh, 
as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor death nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Jesus Christ our Lord. We are more than conquerors. Okay. We're going to do it right now. But we're from Howard's Mill, First Church of God, and we love our congregation, and we love each and every one of you out there. Get right a hold of them. Father God in heaven, as we come to you tonight, Lord, as we've sat here and listened to those beautiful songs, God, felt the spirit of the Holy Ghost in this house. God, as we've heard Sister Margaret read these names off, Lord, each and every one, God, we've watched her go through the papers, Lord, and she has been blessed beyond means tonight, God. And we pray that your Holy Spirit would touch and move upon each one of these requests, God. Heal the sick. God, just save the lost. And God, just encourage the discouraged. Keep us, guide us, and lead us the direction we need to have. Give protection on us. We'll glorify you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you so much. Thank and. You. Uh, uh, we uh, we are about out of time, so uh, we appreciate all of you and uh, for calling, standing with us, and uh, so uh, we uh, since we are out of time, we want to say good night and God bless you. Thank you for being part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This